welcome to Stone Magpie for the Zodiac series. A little while ago I bought a canvas from Spell Queen and it is a Zodiac circle. You may well have seen the unboxing but if you haven't it'll be in the playlist, the unboxing playlist. So go and have a look if you're interested. I thought it would be a great canvas to do a monthly video focusing on each star sign. We all have different planetary aspects in our birth chart. If you've not discovered what yours is, then there are plenty of free online natal charts. So go and have a look if you're interested. In the meantime, let's get diamond painting. Let's get whipping. Today's video is all about Aries. Happy birthday, Aries. If you were born around about the 21st of March to around the 20th of April, Aries is your star sign or your sun sign. It can be known as either. And I say around about those dates because if you were born on the 21st of March or the 20th of April, you were born on what's known as the cusp, which means you may well find that your star sign falls either side. If you've got your natal chart, then you will know exactly what your star sign is. And it's also, as I say, known as the sun sign. We are starting our diamond painting canvas with the small lowercase t. And I have sectioned off with some release papers. Made a nice section, which is like a slice of pie. And it's the airy symbol, which is the ram. Aries is a cardinal sign and it is in the fire sign category. There are four different categories altogether in the natal charts. There are fire, air, earth and water and the fire signs tend to be the signs that have a lot of oomph behind them. <laughs> um, so Aries has the planetary position of Mars. And their colour is red, which, as we know, Mars is known as the red planet. So that makes sense. And red is also a colour to wear to gain some confidence. And Aries knows all about confidence. It's a very confident sign and is well known for good leadership. So because of the leadership qualities of an Aries, the career path usually tends to need excitement. It needs to have variety and drive behind it. So you tend to find Aries in military or um, like active pursuits, really adventurous type of careers, perhaps racing drivers, um, well, you get my drift. <laughs> they tend to choose a very ambitious careers. As their category suggests, Aries are full of fire, determination, want to get the job done, Driven, passionate. The Aries saying is I am or I initiate. 
because, as I say, the leadership qualities of an Aries means they will initiate, they will push people to do well, you know, drive other people as well, guide people in their leaderships. Um, if you think of the Pied Piper, <laughs> the Pied Piper talked the children, the rats, also, you know, it was the charm of the Pied Piper that led them to lead the children away from the village and then back again and then lead the rats out of that village with their charm. So Aries is also a charming air sign, uh, star sign. If you've ever met an Aries, you'll know they are charm personified. <laughs> So diamond painting wise, we are doing the lowercase t symbol and they are dotted all around this section. So I am trying to multi-place and fill in the singles as I go. It'll be interesting to see how this first section turns out. As I say, it's the... the um, first part of the zodiac canvas that I'm starting and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac so it's it made sense for me to start there it was logical <laughs> So what I'm noticing here is that although the lowercase t looks quite green on the canvas, it's actually more of a brownie colour diamond. And this part here is the ram symbol. Quite interesting isn't it how the zodiac starts with Aries because you would have thought it would start in January with Capricorn um, but no I don't know the reason why Aries is the first sign I didn't look that up I might need to find out So this is a square canvas, as you've already probably noticed. And Spell Queen, I did do the unboxings for this canvas um, a little while ago now, before Christmas time. It might have been November and it is in the playlist if you'd like to catch that unboxing and see because there was more than one canvas in the, in the video. I also have a affiliated code in the description box if you've not bought from them before and you would like to try them out then if you follow the link it will take you to Spell Queen and if it's your first purchase you will get 15% discount. Just making sure I catch all of these lowercase t's before we move on to the next colour. So I have had a natal chart done and as I said in the introduction, we all have lots of different placements of planets in our charts 
Um, and the star sign or sun sign is the main one. And then we have a rising sign, which is how other people view us, and a moon sign, which is our emotional side. And they are the three main parts of our natal chart that go to create our characters, our essential characters. Obviously, the way that we are brought up and our experiences do have a factor in it as well, but it's our basis, is our birth chart. All right, so I think I've done all of the lowercase t's there. I am going to move to do, let me think, I think I'll do these arrows next. Get out the next pot. I'm using round pots for the first time as well for this canvas, which are very different. And because I've had to write on the symbols, sometimes I've had to draw a little line underneath because they can turn in the tray that I've got here. And I didn't want to get any mistakes. So some of them I've drawn little lines underneath in case they swizzle around. <laughs> the storage was a gift from my mum. Um, so thank you, mum, for this. I'm not going to um, talk too negatively about the swizzling containers because I do appreciate the fact that my mum bought them for me. <laughs> so I'm not ungrateful at all. Right. Let's have another chat about Aries. So, because of their, their attitude towards adventure and leadership, they will stride into places. They will go where other people may fear and take it, you know, and run with it and be brave, basically. They will, they will just take things head on. They don't live in fear, they live in doing. Um, I suppose they, they could be seen as quite impulsive. And because of their leadership skills, they will lead others along with them as well. As, as I mentioned with the Pied Piper. So because of their drive and their leadership, it's thought that their reason and lessons to learn in life is how to um, how to plan, how to take that drive and that passion and that leadership and find ways to implement it clearly. So that is thought to be one of their life lessons. All star signs have them. We all have things to learn in our lifetime and that's thought to be one for Aries. Now, I think that depends on the mix of their other planetary positions in their charts because if they have more thoughtful, contemplative aspects, then that might help with that. So... Again, it's all a mix of personalities based on our birth chart. Mm. 
My own birth chart doesn't include Aries on any of the top three. So I've had to do a little bit of research about Aries with it not featuring much in mine, so. <laughs> I have had a bit of internet help. <laughs> oh dear. So with the fire sign being part of the Aries characteristics, it means that they can be warm and bright. They can be a lovely, lovely company to be around. And they can also be like a raging fire. <laughs> So, very, very interesting, very interesting personality. It can also mean that if you're, you haven't got the drive that Aries do, they can carry you along with their energy and get um, you to do things that you may be a bit hesitant to do normally. And that's a good thing, pushing people. Well, not pushing, pushing, like being pushy, but encouraging people to try things they wouldn't normally do. And, it, and that can be quite thrilling. Because of their activity levels, they can be very athletic. Um, if you think of <laughs> the chiseled jaw of a man, um, muscly, just athletic. If a lady, athletic build, you know, think of a runner, that type of build, um, an athletic body type. And I'm not saying that other star signs are not, it's just that airy, that's what Aries are known for, their high metabolism their energetic outlook on life, exercising, keeping busy, just boundless energy. Okay, we'll put that aside for a little bit and talk some diamond painting. So as I say, these are squares from Spell Queen. The last kit that I completed from them was the elephant on a bed holding up the little girl wishing on a star and that was a round diamond painting. So although I started another canvas before Christmas which was square, um, I didn't get very far with it until I ran out of time and I, I put it aside to complete in winter time this year instead. If you look at the diamonds here, they sit really well together and I hope you can see the sparkle there too. So I just wanted to point that out because as I say, my last canvas from Spell Queen was around. It's more important with squares that they sit nicely together to give a nice finish on the canvas. So I wanted to show you the diamonds and they do sit fairly snug on the canvas as well. They're not too gappy at all. They're not tight, but they are, um, they are sitting side by side. I haven't had any of the famous clicks yet that actually I quite like. Um, so, just to give you an idea of the canvas spacing as well, because that can be quite important with squares. I'm just faffing about a little bit because I can't see the symbols that well. To give you a really good clear view, <laughs> the canvas is a little bit further away from me 
than how I normally work. So I might just have to do a little bit of fiddling every now and again if I place it slightly off. But I also wanted to get the full section in so you could see it all happening at once. Oh, I've just seen a little lowercase tut there. Might have to fill that in in a minute so I don't forget it. Oh, there's always one isn't there. <laughs> oh. I did try really hard to catch them all. Oh, there's another one there as well, and another one. Oh, I didn't do very well at all. <laughs> so we'll finish the arrows off. Hopefully I'll catch all of the arrows. And just so you know, some of this waviness is actually, in the middle there is a sun and a moon and these are the rays from both of them so I'm not going to be finishing those off in this section I am just doing the Aries part so we can see what the picture looks like once it's diamond painted right I think that's all of the arrows oh please <laughs> please be all of the arrows and I don't have to go back it doesn't always bother me about having to get the next, the colour back again, but you know, if we can do it all at once, it's good, isn't it? So we'll just fill in some of these little lowercase t's. I'm sure there was another one. Was it up here? There. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to capital H. Ooh, quite a dark brown, this one. Get rid of that bit of wax. Okay. Let's get on with some H's. I'm hoping that you can see these okay because they are a very dark colour. Um, but I think it's important that I do them now so that we can see what the body of the picture will look like because there's a lot of H's in there. If we can't see these ones very well, I think I'll speed up the camera. Okay, so they are the H's now finished. I'm going to do the D next. Nice bright colour for us. Look at that. Wow, a lovely pop of beautiful pinky red oh, that is a gorgeous color and I know that Aries will like it because it is red is your color <laughs> so you'll probably be appreciate this one and gemstone wise you're attached to things like bloodstone carnelian those type of gemstones and when you think about it bloodstone is obviously red carnelian is like an orangey red um, uh, coral which is another type of orangey red that can be your gemstone as well your birthstone now then what what is Aries what's oh birthstone I think I'm going to have to look that up Okay, so the bloodstone is a birthstone for Aries. However, they also have a traditional stone as well. 
and you'll never guess what it is. If you're an Aries, you probably already know this. It's a diamond. Oh, how appropriate as we're diamond painting. Of course, the gemstone diamond is very, very different. And I'm quite surprised that it's a diamond for Aries because I was expecting it to be a ruby or something red. And a diamond, well, I suppose, I tell you what, a diamond is full of fire, isn't it? So that makes sense. They have lots of different colours and... Um, Yes, all of those colours when they show is called a fire in a diamond. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised, but it sort of also makes sense at the same time. Now, the diamond is known for its durability and it's got a clarity, an inner strength and radiance and... What it says is that it keeps the reckless and wild Aries in heavenly balance. <laughs> oh dear, reckless and wild. Woo, Aries. Actually, that sounds really good fun. <laughs> anyway, so wear your diamonds to keep you in balance or, you know, work on your diamond paintings. That may well help. Oh, that's quite funny, isn't it? I kind of wish that I had some Aries in my chart now. Oh, never mind. So as I was looking up the birthstones for Aries, I also came across the healing crystals for Aries, which is interesting. Um, so if you need a bit of healing, then it's suggested that you wear, again, we've got bloodstone, carnelian and coral, um, but also we've got amethyst in the mix for that. Now amethyst, I know one property of amethyst. If you wear amethyst and you have a lot to drink, <laughs> it's supposed to stop you having a hangover. Now I'm not sure how true that is because I'm sure I've been on a night out before with amethyst earrings or a ring and I'm sure I suffered the next day. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how true it is, but feel free to put it to the test. Perhaps it's because I don't have Aries in my chart <laughs> that it didn't quite work for me. But um, yes, yeah, so Amethyst, I don't really know how that associates with Aries, but apparently it does. And also another one is Malachite. Now, malachite is a green stone with lots of markings in it. Again, I don't quite understand how that would go with Aries, being the reds, Mars, all about red and, you know, confidence and all of that. Um, but yeah, apparently malachite is a healing stone for Aries as well as rose quartz, which again, rose quartz is a pink stone. So I suppose it's in the red family, as it were. Um, so that makes more sense than the other two. And rose quartz is well known for a sign of friendship and love, if you didn't know that. So... That's a nice one to have as your healing stone. So if you're feeling a bit low, then try wearing some of those or carrying a crystal around with you. If you think there's any power in that. It 
If you know how malachite and amethyst relate to Aries, please do let me know, because I'm quite interested in that, um, as to why. I might take time to have a proper delve into that after the video. I don't quite have time yet because I'm rather busy. <laughs> That's a very bright diamond there. Obviously it doesn't belong here. It's the odd one out. Okay, so we've got quite a few, the capital D down here at the bottom. Now you may notice that I haven't used my claw yet in this video because I'm trying to get the section done fairly quickly. Um, it wasn't in intended to be a very long whip and chat type video, so we'll see how we get on. I may well end up speeding some of the video up so that we can see the finished section if it gets a bit too long here. All right, I think that's all of the Ds done. Let me have a look at what colour it is. 498, if you're interested in that. There we are, okay. What shall we do next? We're going to do F next which again is quite a dark colour, so I will speed up this part of the video. Okay, so we have finished the F symbol and we can now move on to, I'm going to do the arrows up symbol next. So this color here. Okay, so we have talked about the positive aspects of Aries with their drive and their ambition and their charm and things like that. And of course, every sign has negative tendencies as well. So I'm not going to cast shade. I'm just going to, you know, balance it by talking about some of the negative aspects that we all have. So with Aries, because they are so driven and passionate, they can be quite impatient <laughs> with people that can't keep up to their, their speed. They like to do things quickly and Yes, you know that you can you get the drift, don't you, with their passion. They, they tend to drive forward, and if people are hesitant, they can get quite impatient. Um, so also they can get a little bit uh, what can we say frustrated because they've got determination and a really cheerful disposition. They can get frustrated when, um, like I say people don't jump to what they want to do when they want to do it and with speed okay so just a little bit you know just something to be aware of that's all we're all learning in this life <laughs> um, yeah so that's one of their challenges I think we can all be a bit like that though can't we to be fair we can all get frustrated we can all get a bit fed up if things are not going as quickly as we want to, um, you know, patience wise. I mean, hands up whoever has been impatient with getting a diamond painting finished, for example, you know. But working on a diamond painting you know, it's relaxing. It doesn't have to be quick, quick, quick. It can be slow and steady and enjoyment. So if you are getting frustrated and impatient to finish, just take a deep breath. We'll get it done in the end, guys. We'll get it done in the end. <laughs> oh, 
are and I can see another little lower case T so I'm going to quickly put that one in as well wow they've been quite tricky the little cheeky things I think it's the only one so far that I've missed touch wood I haven't noticed any others okay let's move on to number seven Right, and as we fill in number seven, shall we talk about some famous people that are Aries? Um, and you can imagine there'll be a lot of Aries in the celebrity world because of that drive and ambition and um, determination. You know, that all is needed, isn't it, to become successful in such a competitive world. And you know, that competitive nature will probably mean they thrive in that, um, if that's not too presumptuous, because, you know, there are a lot of knockbacks in the celebrity realm. I mean, you know, I'm just talking about, I'm not talking from experience, of course. <laughs> just what I imagine that world to be like. Um, you have to have, be quite tough, I think. To, um, to put up with really what they have to put up with. So, and I know there's a lot of benefit to it as well. So, give and take, isn't it? It is. But so, the first celebrity name I've got for you who is an Aries is Elton John. Elton John is an Aries. The second name, Victoria Beckham, Posh Spice. She's an Aries too. And um, not only has she been a Spice Girl, she's obviously now got all her designer clothes and so that takes a, a drive, doesn't it, to do? And a passion. Elton John, he's got his fashion as well, music. He keeps, he keeps himself current and young, doesn't he? With, um, I think he's quite pally with Ed Sheeran now as well, so I'm sure he keeps up with young talent to keep himself fresh as well. Um, that's admirable. admirable. Interest in bringing the next generation forward. generosity who else um, oh Lady Gaga well she is amazing again fashion so when you think Elton John Victoria Beckham Lady Gaga all have fashion in common. And that's quite interesting, isn't it? Who else have we got? Oh, now then, Vincent van Gogh, a painter, was an Aries, wow. Because he, he was quite, um, what's the word, troubled really, wasn't he, in his lifetime, bless him. I, I'm quite surprised that he was an Aries. It'd be interesting to know what his other signs were. Um, I, I guess we can all be troubled. Um, yeah, and he did strive in his paintings, he did move to help his art and things like that, so he probably did have that drive. He 
certainly had passion, didn't he? Have I got any other names? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was an Aries. these number sevens now filling in this I think this is a cute little ram close to the canvas um, even though it's away from me on the table so I can't see any of the detail emerging yet I'm hoping that you can see that better than than myself and when I stand back hopefully I'll see more detail in the picture I think they're the horns here, but I'm not sure. I don't know. With Spell Queen, by the way, um, if you did want to look for this kit, they do do it in different sizes. Um, this one, I believe, is a 50. Yes, it's a 50 by 50, this one. So you could go bigger and get even more detail in the canvas if you wanted to. So the next sign we'll do is the question mark. And what should we talk about Aries next? Um, okay, should we talk about compatibility? See if I can find out about those. So it, say, it says that Aries can be quite good lovers. Woo! unafraid to try new things. Oh, that's exciting. Um, so the best companions for Aries are Leo. Oh, yes, I can imagine. Strong Leo and Sagittarius. Well, that's interesting because they are all fire signs. So they all have that um, fiery, passionate. Yeah, so yes. I think that goes without saying when they're all fire signs. Let's see if there's anything. All right. So second to that would be Gemini and Aquarius. Okay, which are both air signs. Interesting. Quite gentle. Now, Gemini and Aquarius are air signs, along with Libra. I'm a Libra sun sign. So I wonder why I'm not included. <laughs> okay, I'm not compatible with Aries. Interesting. Hmm. Um, perhaps I'm a bit... Perhaps Libra is a bit too indecisive for Aries. Perhaps we would drive them mad. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see what else I can find out. This is interesting. Okay, we're moving on to the Aries child. Okay, so obviously with lots of energy, it'd be difficult to get them to bed at night. They wouldn't want to switch off for the day. They've got things to do. <laughs> Let me know if you've got an Aries child and that rings true. Um, so they're busy, busy and want to be with friends and, you know, want to be the leader of their friend pack. Um, and so if things don't happen as they want it, they move on. They don't waste time. They just move on, get on with it, try something new. 
Um, they won't like being told what to do apparently. So instead of saying, you know, don't do this, maybe a bit of time out would have the, the best effect <laughs> because they are headstrong and actually the part of the body that Aries relate to is the head. So, yeah. <laughs> Be interesting. Come on, if you've got an Aries child, I'd love to know that, if that rings true for you. So with Korea, as I was saying earlier, the military, ooh, military, police, exciting pursuits, racing drivers, that sort of thing. Um, you know, something with a bit of an adventure, not humdrum. Also, really good in sales. And that makes sense with the charm aspect. Be able to talk people into... Um, make, oh, making a sale, sporting activities, anything competitive to, um, to give you that competitive edge. You like that, that push to, you know, get it, get that sale, do it, be the winner, you know, Again, all about the drive. In business, wheeling and dealing, you know. Again, closing the deal. the drive to work yourselves up into the top ranking part of whatever career path you've chosen not wanting to sit still you know go getter that type of energy Pets wise, you'll need a pet that can keep up with you for sure. So dog that you could take running, things like that. Um, something active, a horse perhaps. However, some Aries prefer smaller animals that are low maintenance and they don't have to worry about it. So perhaps a fish. <laughs> That's quite a contrast, isn't it? Okay, let's move on to these arrows going to the left. Sorry, I'm still chuckling about the fish. <laughs> of course, you can probably guess what the best pastimes are for an Aries. Energetic. Now, it'd be interesting to see how many Aries diamond painters we've got. Um, because diamond painting is not energetic but there is the completion aspect and getting it done and the drive to finish it. So please do let me know if you're an Aries. I'd be really interested. Or if Aries is your rising sign or your moon sign. Because as I say, they are the three main aspects in the zodiac that people tend to know if they've got that part in their chart. So... Yeah, so active pursuits, sports, you know, lots of different type of sports. Energetic sports, stimulating, so. All 
Okay, I'm going to see about doing, let me have a think, let me have a think. I've got one backwards Z there, so I'll stick that one in. And then I might do these bright number nines at the bottom. Ooh, beautiful colour blue. This one is sort of a purpley blue. 792 is the number of this one. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. By the way, Aries, just because I'm Libra and it says on there that we wouldn't get on, I have got Leo rising. <laughs> so I think we would because I do have a bit of fire in my chart. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> we want to be friends. <laughs> Let's do those couple of teas there. Oh, they look quite turquoisey. Oh, there's quite a few around the side as well. They look quite turquoisey, but the diamonds are not. They're more of a pale demon blue. So on the chart, it looks quite different to the diamond colours. Interestingly, I've seen some charts, some diamond painting charts recently with quite a lot of red on them. And um, it's not for red areas. So I don't know if the diamond painting manufacturers are starting to print them differently with the backgrounds not necessarily relating to the colour of the diamond painting, if that makes sense. I don't know if I've said that very clearly. But you know, like a painter can do a red wash on a canvas, even though the final colour is not going to be red. It sort of brings a different tone through. I wonder if it's something like that. I'm not, I'm not quite sure the reasons why, but it's something that I might need to look into to find out why the diamond painting canvases would be doing that because, you know, we all have little gaps, tiny little gaps or big gaps. And if the red was shining through, I don't know if it, what it's supposed to add to it. So. Yeah, I'm a bit confused by that one. Okay, I'm going to do the dollar sign in the background. Again, it's a dark colour, so I'm going to speed up this part of the video. So that's all the dollar signs done. Oh, nearly, never mind, I need to put one in there. Right, I'm going to do the anchors. Again, I'm going to speed up the video. Before I do, I think we just have to say, oh, ooh, to this beautiful colour. It's like, um, would you call that an aubergine colour, aubergine purple? Let me see what colour that is. It's 154. That is fab. Euless. Okay, right, that's a lot of the background done now and it's really making that bit pop. I'm going to do some of the N symbol next, which is a fairly dark blue. To fill in some of the background and around the edge. Of 
the painting. Now Aries is the first sign for spring. So if you live in the UK, <laughs> you'll know that recently we've had all sorts of weather. We've had winter, we've had sunshine, we've had snow, we've had wind, we've had all sorts thrown at us recently. Um, but Aries is the spring sign. <laughs> so come on spring, you know, if you're gonna come then stay because we get used to you and then we get really cold and the snow seems even colder. So there we are. Um, number eight, next. So best gifts for Aries apparently are um, sort of techie type gifts that can, um, you know, entice them, interest them, get them excited, um, you know, new technology that they'll be interested in, things like that. They make good gifts. Um, like cutting edge type things. Um, I can't think of any examples. I'm not very techy myself um, to know, but you know, new technology, maybe things like if they've got video games, then what about virtual reality? You know, that type of thing, the new things that are coming in, you know what I mean. So they'd be interested in that perhaps. Also, um, like a nice trinket, so something that they can show off, nice little bit of jewellery, um, you know, something that they would be proud to have, something nice and sparkly. Of course, being diamond, um, <laughs> you know, having the birthstone of a diamond, that would be something to show off. Um, you know, oh, wouldn't it be nice if somebody was going to propose? Oh, anyway, let's, let's not think about that at the moment in case I'm putting anybody on the spot <laughs> who's watching this video alongside an Aries. <laughs> A diamond would be nice, darling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm so naughty. Just make me stop. No, stop it. Right. Um. <laughs> okay. If it helps you out, then anything food related could also make your Aries smile. <laughs> there. Has that got you out of a corner? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why food, but apparently... Aries likes foodie type gifts, so interesting. Perhaps it's because of the animal, a ram. I don't know, not sure. So plenty to choose from there, isn't there? There's quite a selection with technology, jewelry or food. Yeah. There we go, so that is the M's done. So I think the ram is now finished. I'm hoping it's got nice detail. I can definitely see the horns, the face. There's a bit of detail here. But again, like I say, I'm going to pull back from the diamond painting very soon and have a look. Now, I will say that I think this bit here is supposed to say Aries, but I can't make it out. I don't know if it looks any clearer from afar, but... Um, if that bothers you and you want to do this canvas, then I would really suggest that you get a bigger size. So that might be interesting for some people to see the comparison of, um, or to see the detail of what would be in a 50 by 50. I can see a, an F here that I want to get in. And there's a D as well, oh dear. I've got that awful thing called diamond blindness back. <laughs> oh, I used to I talk about that when I was doing Josephine Walls. So I used to always be missing odd little symbols here and there. And now it's come back again. 
I hope you're enjoying this sort of take on diamond painting whip and chat. I hope, um, well, I hope Aries are happy with it for one. <laughs> But I hope you're looking forward to your turn when it's your birthday. All right, so that is that section complete. Yay! I'm going to have a stand back and see what I think. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so now I'm stood up and I can definitely see the ram. This looks like wings. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be, but I think this is supposed to be the symbol for Aries. Um, not sure what this is either. So I might have to have a little look at the actual picture. Okay, so I've got the picture now in front of me and I can see that this is the ram with the horns, as we said. This is the symbol for Aries. This is like a background shading. And then this is a diamond for the gemstone. And these are, it's like a plant can't quite make out what sort of plant it is um, but so that that is what is depicted in the picture so the ram's mouth comes all the way down to here and then he's got nostrils the horns so I can kind of see it now that I know what the picture looks like because I didn't realize that the nose came all the way down here and these are the eyes here. Okay, I think looking at it, I would have probably got a bigger canvas. I think that's what I would say if you're thinking of um, doing the Zodiac yourself. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. I've really had fun sharing a little bit of knowledge about Aries. Happy birthday, Aries. I hope you have a wonderful birthday season. Everybody, let's sing. No, <laughs> only joking. I wouldn't do that to you. Um, hopefully you can join me next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. Bye.